it's time for a challenge. So this is my uh, monthly Goodreads challenge wrap up video. I will be following up this video with my book review video. So I have been doing the Goodreads challenge um, for a couple of years now. And so that's why I started doing this little segment where I just kind of update how I'm doing with that challenge. Um, something new that um, just got launched on the, um, the group, the book club that I'm an admin for, the IWSG book club, we are now doing a monthly reading challenge. And it's really cool the way we've done it. Um, of course, because we're a book club, you know, we have certain selections that are book club selections. And so we've now switched our format a little bit so that we're not picking something new every month to read. Um, people have busy lives. And since our book club is predominantly made of people who are writers, um, writers don't read as much as um, just the avid reader because they're also writing. <laughs> so anyway, what we're doing now is that the selections that we pick, we're now doing them quarterly. So it gives people time to, you know, read those selections if they choose to. But what we decided to do is because, you know, a lot of writers started becoming writers because they love to read. And so we decided to create a monthly challenge. And it's everything, of course, in our book club is voluntary. So, but the idea is that we come up with a theme each month and it's up to people to decide what they want to read within that theme. It could be um, fiction, nonfiction, it could be um, 100,000 words, it could be a 2K short story, it's up to them. And so I'm really excited. I'm hoping some people will jump on board with the challenge that we're doing. And what that does is it gives people the option to read something that month that they choose as opposed to something that we've chosen. Um, so I will be talking about that a little bit more in just a minute, but let's get into my uh, Goodreads wrap up update. So let's see, I am currently ahead in my challenge and that's a very strategic move on my part because I read some short stuff. That's, that's the very good way to stay on top of your challenges to read some short stuff. So um, technically in the month of February, I read five titles. Um, two of those titles were um, short stories or novelettes in a series. So I read the first book, the second book, and the third one is not out yet. I think it comes out either this month or next month or something like that. So I'll probably read that one again to give myself a boost in my challenge. Um, I've also been known to read like comic book, graphic novels, and picture books sometimes to give myself a boost in the challenge. But I was actually interested in this um, series. So I'll talk about that in just a minute too. And so overall, I have read seven out of 36 of my goal for the year. Um, 36 is actually a low goal for me. I've done higher than that, but because I didn't do so well last year, I wanted to give myself a boost by making a goal that I knew I would be able to hit. So I'm actually ahead. I'm one book ahead in my challenge so far. And so we will see how things go. So let's look at what I actually read in the month of February. And then I'll come back and talk about what I'm currently reading and circle back to that whole challenge I mentioned. All right, so let's see here. We're gonna start with the um, short stories or the novelettes because, um, well, I'll, I'll give the sequence, but the first one of that series was the first thing that I read in the month of February, and that is The Influence of Love, and it's a sweet fantasy romance. And um, let's see here. I wanna make sure I get the name right. This author, I think she has, um, I don't know if it's she or they, but I know they have more than one pen name, so I just wanna make sure I gave you the right one. It's Patricia Josephine. And I've read um, other stuff by this author. And so when I saw this little, series I was like this is be a perfect little boost for me so influence of romance was the first book in the series it's also the first thing I read in the month of March and I gave it an overall rating of four and you can watch the follow-up um, video um, for my book review on that the next thing that I read in the month of March was a collection of short stories I think I mentioned this last month that I was excited about it because I'm currently working on my own 
collection of short stories, kind of a, a novel and anthology thing that I'm doing. And um, I um, I like to, I like reading short fiction just because you get so many um, perspective and it, like you just get a bunch of different experiences in a condensed form. And I still love to read a good novel, obviously, but sometimes just being able to fly through a bunch of short stories is something very satisfying about that, to have all of these different emotions where you're laughing one minute, crying one minute, and it's all these different stories and they feel like fully fleshed out stories, even though they're short. And so 25 Impossible Tales of Survivors, Flawed Heroes and Annoyed Villains, a science fiction and fantasy collection. This is by Tyrion Martinson. And I gave it an overall star rating of five, I believe. Yes. <laughs> and again, I'll have my review in the next video. So the next thing that I completed in the month of February was Summer of Luck. This was a middle grade um, kind of magical realism, um, I guess, adventure. <laughs> I don't know this yeah I guess it's an adventure story but uh, it's also kind of a coming of age story and um I thought it was a lot of fun extremely nostalgic and uh, of course I'll go in detail in my video later but I ended up giving it an overall star rating of four and then the next thing I read was the follow-up to that that series I've mentioned the other novelette or short story that I read in the month of February to give myself a boost. Um, and this one was Balance of Love. Um, the first one in, in the in the collection was very um, kind of light. Um, you, you could tell there was going to be some depth. And then when you get to the second one, there's way more depth. Again, I'm just amazed at how much emotion and depth and character development, world building, all these things that you can do in, in such in a short format you know I think a lot of people take short um, short stories for granted and so I've been very impressed with um, the different short stories that I've read lately which has been personally helpful to me in my efforts to put together my own collection of short stories so um, balance of love overall star rating of four and then I finished out the month of February with a book that I started some other month I don't know if it was I think it might have been January, but it could have been December. But in, either way, I started reading this book and I DNF'd it with the intention of going back to it. I wasn't sure when I was going to go back to it. And so that's why I DNF'd it just in case it was like months before I went back to it. And I had basically met my reading goals for the month of March. And I was like, before I start something else, why don't I go back and undo this? And so basically what I did is I wanted to start from the beginning with this book, which I'll go ahead and tell you the title is Fractions of Existence. I gave it an overall star rating of three. But what I did with this was because I had already read part of it, but I didn't really pay attention, I reread it, but not really. I basically used the text-to-speech feature on um, the Kindle and like put it on like not double speed, but like, I guess one and a half. I don't know. And so I reread the first part of the book that I had already read, but really didn't pitch it to, to, to until I got caught up. And then I finished reading the rest of it. So I do that sometimes. I don't know if you people know that, but like, I am not opposed to taking advantage of technology to um, cheat my way through consuming more stories. I will do whatever I can to just consume more stories because I love to read. So that, that, that includes holding a physical book in my hand that includes scrolling through digital pages that includes listening to something um, that includes flipping through the animated um, illustrated pages. I am not prejudiced when it comes to consuming stories. So there you go. That is what I read in February, what I am currently reading. <clears throat> so I am currently reading In Darkness, The Vampire, this is a new series by L. Diane Wolf. Uh, she's an amazing publisher who also happens to be a writer. And so I'm excited to um, kind of dive into her story. I literally just started, so I don't even really have any impressions yet, but that's something I'm currently reading. The other thing that I'm currently reading goes back to that challenge I mentioned before. So um, my IWSG book club always has um, a member book and a craft book. So a member book means uh, a writer who is part of the book club 
has a published book out there and we look through the different and we just pick one. And so um, this month, our new theme challenge that we just launched is horse crazy. And we happened to find a member with a book about a horse. And so we chose that. We did that um, so that if someone wanted to take the horse challenge um, and they also wanted to um, read the selection, um, it would be a two for one for that person. Now they have um, two months basically to um, read this book. So maybe they don't want to read it now. Maybe they wanted to read something else. The idea here is that even if they did not want to read our book club book, they could still participate in the challenge. So someone may not be interested in um, our book club selection, but maybe they want to read Black Beauty or um, some other book <laughs> with a horse in it. They can totally still do that and take the challenge, which is why I find this so exciting. I am taking the easy way out this month <laughs> and I'm going to read the um, book club selection, which also just happens to be um, in line with the theme. <clears throat> I don't think we've lined it up to be that way every single time around, but whenever we could, we did do that. But I already know there's times where I'll be reading something extra for the challenge that's not a book club selection. I already know that just because I've seen the list ahead of time. <laughs> So those are the two things that I'm currently reading. Who knows what else I'll get to this month. But that is all. Um, I would love to know what you guys have read. What do you think about things I've read? And my book review video will be coming up shortly. So until then, guys, stay safe and be blessed. Hey, if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. Give it a like and also leave me a comment. I would love that. Okay, bye.